Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamad Yusuf. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received the Speaker of the Council of Representatives Ahmed Lim Salam and the Chairman of the Shura Council Ali Saleh at Rafa Palace. His Royal Highness underscored that Bahrain continues to maintain its global standing thanks to the visions of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and a commitment to protecting the Islamic religion and its core pillars. In this regard, His Royal Highness commended the Kingdom's solidarity and adherence to Islamic teachings in line with the National Action Charter and the Constitution and expressed appreciation for the continuous efforts to strengthen Bahraini society. He noted the deep-rooted cooperation between the executive and legislative authorities, acknowledging its positive impact on Bahraini society. His Royal Highness highlighted the significant achievements of Team Bahrain, which have furthered the Kingdom's comprehensive development led by His Majesty the King. He commended the success of the executive and legislative authorities in achieving the Kingdom's ongoing development goals, which continue to benefit all. He emphasized the importance of continuing to implement plans, initiatives, and strategies to achieve the Kingdom's ambitious goals, furthering economic progress and development. His Royal Highness highlighted that the current development phase requires Team Bahrain's comprehensive efforts to implement the 2023-2026 government program, which aims to build on the Kingdom's wide-ranging achievements. Alam Salam and Al-Saleh expressed their gratitude for the opportunity to meet with His Royal Highness, acknowledging His Royal Highness's commitment to fostering cooperation between the executive and legislative authorities to ensure progress and prosperity for the Kingdom and its citizens. The Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and the Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, also attended the meeting. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received the Chairman of the Board of Directors of Elba, Sheikh Daid bin Salman bin Daid Al Khalifa and members of its Board of Directors at Rafah Palace. His Royal Highness highlighted the importance of adopting strategies that attract further investments to enhance Bahrain's industrial sector and the Kingdom's comprehensive development led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. He commended Elba's prominent role in supporting the national economy and creating quality opportunities for Bahrainis, noting that Elba's achievements have enhanced the Kingdom's global competitiveness in the aluminum and manufacturing industries. His Royal Highness noted that the manufacturing is central to attracting investors and effectively contributes to economic growth and the realization of Bahrain's Economic Vision 2030. His Royal Highness highlighted the importance of advancing the industrial sector by adopting innovative initiatives for sustainable development. He wished Alba and its employees success in achieving their goals. Sheikh Adaij bin Salman expressed thanks to, for His Royal Highness's commitment to supporting the development of Bahrain's industrial sector, which contributes to achieving achieving further progress and prosperity for the Kingdom of Bahrain. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and the Minister of Finance and National Economy Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa also attended the meeting. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received the newly appointed Ambassador of China to Bahrain, Niruchi, at Rafah Palace. His Royal Highness highlighted the strength of Bahrain China relations and the importance of furthering cooperation to benefit both countries and achieve mutual goals. He welcomed the Ambassador and wished him success in performing his diplomatic duties. The Ambassador expressed gratitude for the opportunity to meet with His Royal Highness, noting His Royal Highness's commitment to further strengthening bilateral relations. The Ambassador wished the Kingdom further progress and prosperity. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and the Minister of Finance and National Economy Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa also attended the meeting. Under the directors of the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs and captain of the Royal Endurance Team, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Royal Endurance Team will participate in the Windsor Equestrian Festival, which will be held in Britain, with a large number of world riders. His Highness affirmed that the continuous presence at the Windsor Equestrian Festival is an extension of the interdependent relations between Bahrain and the UK, thanks to the royal vision of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the constant support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Highness indicated that the Royal Endurance Team is associated with a bright history of participating in the Windsor Festival, especially in the last race, which witnessed recording positive results and continuous achievements, indicating that the team is looking forward to making new success in European forums. He added that the Royal Team riders have a great experience to deal with the strong European races and affirmed that they will be able to up to the responsibility in achieving a positive result in light of the good preparation of the team. He added that the team will present a distinguished technique 
technical level of the race, which will witness wide participation by various riders in the world. The royal team participated in the pre-race veterinary examination in the championship village, which witnessed a large presence of the participating riders and horses passed the examination successfully. The royal endurance team finished its preparations by going through training sessions since arriving in Britain. His Highness was crowned champion of the previous edition for a distance of 160 kilometer with merit. On behalf of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa opened the 49th edition of the Bahrain Annual Fine Arts Exhibition at the Bahrain National Museum. His Highness highlighted his pride in Bahrain's artist and artwork, noting the continued support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness in the Kingdom's fine arts sector. He commended the role of the exhibition in enriching artistic creativity and acting as a prominent platform to showcase contemporary arts produced by Bahraini artists. His Highness then toured the exhibition and was briefed on its galleries containing different art schools with over 100 artworks, including 55 Bahraini and resident artists. A section of the exhibition contained the works of the late renowned Bahraini sculptor Khalil al Hashimi. The president of the Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities, Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed bin Abdullah al Khalifa, extended his gratitude to His Royal Highness for sponsoring the 49th edition of the exhibition, emphasizing His Royal Highness's ongoing support for cultural exhibitions and for strengthening the kingdom's cultural sector. He expressed gratitude to His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman for inaugurating the exhibition on behalf of His Royal Highness. He noted the importance of fine arts to the kingdom's cultural scene and that BACA will continue to offer artists a platform to express their creativity. During the exhibition, the winners of the three annual awards were as follows. The first place, a Dana Award, was won by Dr. Mayas Sassuwedi. Second place was awarded to Nadal Mgahwi and Salem Najm came in third place. The new housing finance program won the Best Innovative Program Award for 2023, which is granted by the Middle East Economic Digest in the MENA region in appreciation for the efforts exerted in providing innovative housing solutions and programs for low-income citizens in the kingdom, which comes as a result of the joint work between the Housing Ministry and the Eskan Bank. The Minister of Housing and Urban Planning and Chairperson of the Board of Directors of the Eskan Bank, Amna Ramehi, affirmed that the award came as a result of the visions of His Majesty the King and the Directors of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister regarding the provision of innovative housing solutions for citizens. The minister said that the program was able to prove its feasibility in providing housing services to a large number of citizens, which promises to achieve more gains in the partnership with the private sector during the next stage.
A new achievement represented in the new housing finance program, winning the Best Innovative Program Award for the year 2023 by the Middle East Economic Digest in the MENA region, an achievement that confirms the enforcement of the royal directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, which has always emphasized the importance of partnership between the public and private sectors in implementing development programs that serve all parties and contribute to community service by providing adequate housing services. The proper approach taken by the Ministry of Housing and Urban Planning in supporting the urban movement in the kingdom is represented in winning this award, which represents a tribute and motivation to continue developing all housing programs offered by the Ministry in cooperation with the private sector. Winning the award came despite that the new housing financing program was just launched in August of last year. This program included the facilitation program Tashil, which provided three new financing options, real estate facilitation, Beit al facilitation, and Tasheel cooperation, in addition to the financing service provided by the Mazaya program. The Minister of Industry and Commerce, Abdullah Fakhro, met with LG Vice President An Dong Rio on the sidelines of the Minister's official visit to South Korea in the presence of the Minister of Sustainable Development, Noor al Khalif, the Chief of Afro-Asian Affairs at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Ambassador Fatma Dha'an, and BCCI Second Deputy Chairman, Mohammed al Kohaji. Fakhro affirmed Bahrain's keenness to develop ties with South Korea in all fields, especially in trade, industry, and investment. He praised LG's excellence and futuristic vision and highlighted the importance of expanding cooperation as part of developing international economic and investment ties. The Minister of Industry and Commerce, Abdullah Fakhro, visited Naver Corp in the presence of the Minister of Sustainable Development, Noor Lakhlaif, and Ambassador Fatma Dha'an. Fakhro affirmed Bahrain's keenness to enhance cooperation with South Korea in the economic, investment, technological, and technical fields. He was briefed on the work of Naver, which specializes in internet research, artificial intelligence, and the development of advanced technologies, including robotics, autonomous, driving, and others, and contributes to the operation of many digital cities and global level. He stressed the importance of cooperation operating with NAVR and benefiting from its global expertise in the field of artificial intelligence, which has become a necessity in all fields and sectors. Minister of Industry and Commerce also held a meeting with the President of Orion Foodstuff Company in the presence of the Minister of Sustainable Development, Noor Al-Khalif, and Ambassador Fatma, Fatma Abdullah Dha'an and the number of senior officials from both sides. The Minister affirmed the depth of Bahraini-Korean relations and the strength of their strategic partnership, confirming the support of both governments to these relations in light of the official visits between both countries. He praised the technical level of the company, stressing the importance of enhancing cooperation with international corporations to attract businesses and investors to the kingdom. The Kingdom of Bahrain hosted the fifth meeting of the Policy Advisory Group of the Istanbul Cooperation Initiative of the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, NATO. The Undersecretary of the Political Affairs, Sheikh Dr. Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, chaired the session, which was attended by senior officials, ambassadors, and NATO Assistant Secretary General, Political Affairs and Security Policy, Javier Kalamina. The delegations reviewed efforts and achievements made within the framework of the Istanbul Initiative for cooperation with the NATO in terms of consolidating regional and global security and stability. Sheikh Dr. Abdullah bin Ahmed expressed Bahrain's pride in hosting the fifth meeting of the Policy Advisory Group of the Istanbul Cooperation Initiative and the first since the pandemic within the framework of the joint keenness to enhance cooperation and political and diplomatic dialogue with the NATO. The advisory group discussed issues related to combating terrorism, regional security, defense and maritime security and a symposium to be organized by the Rasat on key challenges facing the region in the 21st century. On behalf of the Minister of Industry and Commerce, the Undersecretary of the Industry and Commerce Ministry, Iman Dosri, headed Bahrain's delegation to the 64th meeting of the GCC Trade Cooperation Committee hosted by Amman. The meeting discussed topics on the agenda, including the establishment of a permanent investment committee, as well as the decisions of the Financial and Economic Cooperation Committee on completing the implementation of the GCC Common Market tracks before the end of 2024. On behalf of the Minister of Industry and Commerce, the Undersecretary of the Ministry of Industry and Commerce, Iman Dosri, headed Bahrain's delegation participating in the 50th meeting of the Industrial Cooperation Committee. GCC Industry Ministers and GCC Secretary General Jassim Mohammed al Abdewi participated in the meeting. The meeting discussed topics including the directive of the Ministerial Committee at its 155th session on addressing all obstacles preventing economic unity as well as following up on finding a unified definition of the nat national Khaliji and its standards. 
The Economic Development Board organized the second quarterly forum on commercial law, which focused on addressing aspects related to the information and communication technology sector. More on this report. The Economic Development Board is organizing the second quarterly forum on commercial law, which focuses on addressing aspects related to the information and communications technology sector and the priority sectors identified in the Economic Recovery Plan. Through the organization of these forums, the Board seeks to establish a platform through which partners and specialists are allowed to review and discuss the most prominent issues related to commercial laws and seek the opinions of specialists from the legal commercial sectors with the aim of achieving maximum benefit from existing laws and contribute to supporting new initiatives and draft laws by pursuing the latest and best practices in the world. The forum also introduces the legal system in the kingdom that supports the investment climate in a way that enhances the kingdom's reputation as a preferred home for global investments and in line with the role of the Economic Development Board in attracting investment opportunities and enhancing the investment climate in Bahrain, in addition to supporting the continuous review of commercial laws and legislation and contributing to supporting the development of dynamic and flexible commercial laws. The permanent farmers market in Hora Ta'ali is a major outlet for the Bahraini farmers as it opens the way for them to display their products to the consumer. More on this report. Local agricultural crops with high nutritional value that are now almost available throughout the year provided by the permanent farmers market in Hora Ta'ali. The permanent market in which the Bahraini farmers present their agricultural crops of local and fresh vegetables and fruits are just picked from the farm and displayed directly in the market. Since the launch of the market, the Bahraini farmers have been continuously developing their business and even working to harness all capabilities to achieve relative food security that is provided to the consumer to enjoy the bounties of the land of Bahrain. Six days a week, the farmers harvest their products daily to put them in the farmer's market, which has been able over the past year to connect the farmers with the public and be a main platform and a vital and important selling outlet for the Bahraini farmers.